Alrighty then, take two. Alright, let's begin again. Alright, let's go, let's roll. Saturday comes along, I get a letter in the mail, other social security benefits. You're not due any other social security benefits. My mom just died. I got mental illness. My mom's cat is barely alive. I'm worried about losing the apartment, not able to pay rent. I got a job. I never really worked before. I'm losing my mind, right? And I miss my mom. I was trying to contact my mom. I started messing with the Ouija board. I left it open for weeks. They say never leave it open. I wasn't using the Ouija board trying to contact my mom. No, don't do that. That's evil. So something else will show up and uh, pretend to be. I was trying to force my mom to show herself to protect me. I wanted to see my mom. And I'm also an aspiring Constantine type individual. I want to, I hate evil. I want to hurt evil. So I, w I want to defeat the Ouija board demon Zozo. So I figured I'd go through this process, but kind of hard when you're worrying about how you're going to pay rent. It's hard to focus on being spiritually, faithfully sound and ritualistic to defeat evil. And so the first thing on the Ouija board that happened was in Philadelphia, a bird flew into the window and to its death. The second thing here was uh, holy water and scooper was in the trash bin. Then the day after the 4th of July, the day I started, stopped using the Ouija board. Something kept showing up in the shadows going, eh, 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 eh. And it wasn't fear. I just, you know, I got absolutely no ego at all. <laughs> We're small in this universe, you know what I mean? I know when to pack my bags in, I'm not, I'm not strong. I'm not going to be able to defeat the Ouija board demon Zozo. I'm flattered that the thing showed up. Something showed up in the shadows. But... Now we get into the fun stuff. I'm all, I was almost excited that I made it to stage three of the biblical plague black flies showing up. But when you're worrying about rent, I was heading to work that day and I just go over to the window where, because my neighbors were gone, and all I did was look out the window. You know, the blinds were completely shut. I'm just trying to get light in here. And my friend, YouTube friend Mikey Boy, was in a little place called Hades Lake. He was surviving, so in a, in a way I could say, hey, you're not alone, buddy. I was going through my own Hades Lake. This is nothing right here, okay? This, this right here is nothing. This was after round three. The first round, there was dozens of flies on the window, right? I'm about to head to work, right? And so, I, I have been kind to flies when I find them. And a funny thing before I forget, I was at work. And I saw a huge cockroach going across the floor in the back of the area where I work. I do maintenance. And I actually took the thing on my glove and flicked it into a corner. I said, get out of here, buddy. Go quick. Be quick before they find you and kill you. I still have empathy for the creatures of the dark. It took me my entire life to realize the creatures of the dark, they, they only exist in filth. The flies have declared war on me. I will slay every single fly that I see for the rest of my life. Except for the little ant flies that are little lonely buggers. I feel bad for them little buggers. You know, they can't even, they can't even, their wings aren't even strong enough for them to fly. They kind of fly like Launchpad McQuack from, from uh, DuckTales and then they crash out. Oh, have mercy on them. But before this incident... I would, I would catch flies or spiders in this and I would put them outside so when I seen them all over the first window, what did I do? I started trying to catch them with the thing and put them outside. I quickly, I seen them on more windows. They were all over the place. Yeah, I even got so angry. I sprayed, yeah, I went up to the dollar store. I had no point, my, my hand was forced. I don't like to kill anything, right? I had empathy for the creatures of the dark. I don't like to kill anything, right? My hand was forced. So if you could imagine someone with PTSD, uh, schizophrenia, dissociative identity disorder, it's going a little nuts. I'm forced to have to slay all these darn things. This is round three. I vacuumed them up. Wait, wait, look. Look, I had to, I had to spray the spider even. 
poor little bugger. I, I was so angry I sprayed the spider. I vacuumed him up. Holy moly, man. I'm on day 13 of work. I have a little obsessive compulsion to write stuff on the... I almost missed work because of this incident. They were, yeah, I, the first round, I must have killed for anywhere between one to two hundred of these suckers. And I was asking myself, oh yeah, I was asking myself, if I could figure out where they came from, maybe it wasn't the Ouija board, right? No, the first round, I, I vacuumed them, oh my god, yeah, that one's pretty bad. I have the, I, I was focused on work, and so I was caught off guard, I would have filmed the actual event. I was so caught off guard I had to go buy spray and yeah I had to breathe in some but when I found yeah look 66 Lucifer you sucker freaking the lowest the air goes has to be 66 yeah they're real funny man real funny Lucy look they're all over the darn man just this is what this is what slayed me right here man these things man these things man they were trying to, man, I had the tape. This is what, this is what my evidence was. Look at them all in there. This is what my evidential basis to give you a little. They were trying to gnaw their way through. Did Zozo send them? They were literally trying to know them. I'm just glad it's over, man. My disability wasn't taken. So I wanted my friends to know I've been off social media. If I'm ever off social media, you know something crazy is going down, man. Like biblical plague black flies showing up in my apartment. <laughs> I never go off social media, all right? So uh, the pressure of social media. I want friends to know, man, if I'm not on social media, you know something went down, man. And you know I'm like an anime character. I get stronger after every battle. Tomorrow I'm saying goodbye to the Ouija board. You might want to check that video out. It's going to be called Goodbye Ouija Board. Goodbye, schizophrenia, for now. As we close the chapter on evil till I get secure financially. When I say secure, I mean multimillionaire that could take time away from society to defeat the Ouija board demon Zozo is what I mean. You've been real. I'll chat to you later. You've been